A one-of-a-kind tribute to UT men's basketball is now part of the Halls community. Yeah, it's a big mural just completed a few days ago. And tonight, WAT6 On Your Side's Don Dare explains why the artwork on the side of a building is located in North Knoxville. Don. Well, that's right, Bo. The building is owned by the person who commissioned the mural. The artwork does not honor any one player. Instead, it represents the team. Artist and painter Patrick Weeks carries a paper with a pattern on it as he climbs 15 feet to work on a unique project. Acting as a spotter and chief assistant is Steve Walker, an artist himself. The project is a nine-foot-high mural honoring UT men's basketball. The location is the Birch Tree Plaza building in halls owned by R. Larry Smith. Inside the building is the UT Men's Basketball Museum, created by Larry Smith and filled with memorabilia. The mural is a tribute to a game and to a team he loves. That's Mr. Slam Dunk. No name. We might want to call him Eve Pons. He reminds me of Eve. We're not going to put a number on it, we're not going to put a name on it, just represent all the, all the players, the intensity that Tennessee plays with. High above the ground, Patrick Weeks ever so gently paints the lines or ribs on the brightly colored basketball. The whole project will take about seven hours. Steve Walker likes his design. This is what we're going to see right here on the wall. It's going to look pretty awesome. It's enjoyable work. It's, it, uh, you feel like a sense of accomplishment when you get it done. Working off a pattern makes it easier. It's a little bit harder than doing actual lettering. The mural is first created on Steve Walker's computer inside his studio called The Sign Guys. For Steve, the design is the most difficult part of the process. The design is really hard because you've got to get something that customers really like. Once approved, the design is transferred to a big printer. Remember that piece of paper Patrick carried up the ladder with him? Steve then takes the pattern with its perforations to a table covered with soft layers of cloth. It's the next step that is time consuming. It involves intricate stenciling with a sharp knife along the perforations. Later, a fine sandpaper is used to open the holes. The result is a brightly colored, one of a kind, distinctive mural for everyone to enjoy. I think it's gonna brighten up the community more and give them more of a, a good feeling. I'm hoping that's what it, it does bring. The mural can be seen on the Birch Tree Plaza building. That's on Afton Drive, just off Maynardville Highway in Halls. The museum is open by appointment to individuals or to small groups at no cost. And, and Bo, it was, it was really interesting watching that, that mural develop. Yeah, no doubt. I, I, I would have thought it, that was the process. It was very fascinating, and obviously the finished product's amazing. Uh, Don, thank you. And if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddarewat.com. You can also call a six-on-your-side hotline number, and we do have it for you. See it right there on your screen, 865-633-5974.